All right, this is my fraction project for Math 2010. And this project is geared for third or fourth grade level. Um, I couldn't get the camera angle right, so what I'll be doing is doing the project and then kind of showing the camera as I go. And then I'll also change the camera afterwards so you can see the whole thing in effect. So uh, kind of the idea for this is to just kind of comprehend fractions as a whole and to give students a hands-on interactive thing to hold on to as they do it. So um, all you need is a pair of scissors, a marker or a Sharpie, and then five different colored sheets of paper. So got those here already cut out. So that's what I would give the students each time. So kind of what we'll do is I'll explain it as I go along. Is for the first one, you're going to write one hole at the top. So one hole. And another way you can write that is one over one. So one hole or one over one. I guess that might be backwards, but that's the top one. For the second one, you're going to take your second sheet of paper. You're going to fold it in half, crease the edges, and then we'll be cutting this in half. So get your scissors, cut along the line. And what I would do is I'd give out the materials and just have each of the students follow me as I go along. So now that strip is cut into two different pieces. And on each one, you're going to write the fraction one over two or one half. So each piece will look like this, one over two. Okay. Then the same thing for the next one, our next strip of paper, we're going to fold it in half. And then for this one, you're going to fold it in half again. So you're going to do two folds. And then you'll take your scissors and you'll cut each on each line. And then on each piece, you're going to write the fraction one fourth on every sheet you have. And so at this point, I'd ask the question for this specific piece is why is the denominator of the bottom number four? And then let me flip, or I guess I can show you this way. You can see that four pieces go into the one hole at the top. I don't know if you can see that very well. I'll show it at the end a little bit better. But then we'll go to our next strip of paper. And the same thing, we're going to fold it in half. Fold it in half again. But this time we're going to go one more time. And depending on how familiar the class is with the fractions, you could have them guess what the next um, bottom number would be or the denominator. And now when you unfold it, the paper, the strip of paper is going to be divided into eight pieces. And so we'll cut each one out again. And then on each piece of individual paper, and it should be about this size, you're going to write one eighth on each of them. The fraction one eighth. So one over eight. 
And again, if I ask the question, why is the number eight? They will be able to see that there are eight pieces that make up the whole. And so there are eight individual pieces in this set. Okay. And again, I'll show the whole setup once it's all made, but for now, I'll just keep going. So for our last sheet, same thing, you know the drill are going to fold in half, and then you're going to fold in half again. Fold in half one more time, actually two more times. And then a last time. So these ones might be a little tricky to get the last fold. You might have to really crease it, but they're going to be pretty small. And so then when you unfold each piece now, this might be a little time, so I might speed it up. But when everything is said and done and cut, there should be 16 different pieces. And so then, when each of them are cut, I would ask them, what number are we going to write as the denominator if there are 16 pieces of a whole? And hopefully by this point, the class will be able to answer 16 as the denominator. So this is a pretty introductory level fraction project just kind of getting them familiar with breaking things up as a whole. And then what I like about it is you could keep this, keep all the materials. And once they're more familiar with it, you can go back through and use this to help with adding and subtracting fractions because you already have the pieces made. And I'll show you a little bit on that at the end. So on this piece, like I said, on each one, we're going to write 1 16th. 1 over 16. And I think it would be good for each kid, each student, to make their own set because it's not a lot of materials. And that way each student has a tangible piece of paper and materials that they're working with and so they can kind of play with it themselves. So I'll just finish up real quick and then I will show you what the final project should look like. Almost done. Okay, so let me get it all lined up and then I will show you. Okay, let me see if I can flip the camera around. Don't know if I can. Okay, I'll try and just do it this way. So this is what the final project should look like. As you can see, we have the one whole piece at the top two half pieces below that, four one-fourth pieces below that, eight one-eighth pieces below that, and 16 one-sixteenth pieces before that. And one main thing that I would point out to the students is that the half, both of them, if you put over the hole, it shows shows that two half pieces equal one whole. And you can do that with all of these different pieces you have. So you'd be able to experiment, mess around with the students, and then they could explore on their own and add certain fractions together to see what would equal what. And so this is kind of the set that they would have. That one got flipped over. And yeah. So, sorry about the weird camera angles. I would have shown more, but I didn't have anywhere to put my camera. So, that's the fraction project 
for third grade math and it would be really nice to keep this whole set so they could use uh, throughout the school year as you're adding, subtracting fractions and just learning more about them. So yeah, thank you for watching.